Instead of suffering through the YouTube chat, click like and subscribe. We had Cody doing a promo backstage, teasing we'd hear more about this thing on Friday. He says, I'm just concerned about becoming the first crown jewel champion. So he walks off, he runs into Sammy, and Sammy says, I know you, uh, I want you to know I'm the guy that you're going to face at crown jewel. Cody says, all right, good luck tonight. It was not him. Yeah. Liv, Dom, and Raquel arrive at the building in a car. You know, I, I, I wonder if they really should have put that uh, poster up. The all day, the, the, the one today, all, the one the one today before the show. I was thinking about this all day today. I mean, they did they did they did go out and say, well, if Sami Zayn wins, we're gonna have to get a new poster. I just thought, okay, right. You know what I mean? It's like you don't you can you can wait the five hours and then put the poster up. Well, I will tell you this: I had far more interest in the match than I normally would. Because it was so weird that they put that poster up. Because it was like, why didn't they wait till Tuesday? And then the more I thought about it, it was like, okay, they either want us to think <laughs> that he's winning the title or he's winning the title. He because not- why would you do this? It doesn't make any sense. And the answer was, they just did it. I, I, I didn't think for a second that he was winning after I saw that poster. I thought they were trying to throw us off. No, because okay. why else would you not okay, wait? Okay, 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 okay. Here's the thing. WWE maybe, right? Saudi Arabia, 0% chance. They do not put posters up for anything, for anything there, and then do it to swerve you. This this is a American pro wrestling mentality, and this poster was up in Saudi Arabia. If it was not up in Saudi they Arabia... Actually was, put the fo- they actually put this up in Saudi Arabia? It's it's yeah. I just all... I just saw that they had released the graphic for the poster. I didn't know they actually had the posters all over Saudi Arabia. Not oh, it's not all over, but it's on there. It's in it's in their publicity. Yes, they've been pub- they publicized the show in Saudi Arabia with that poster before Raw started. Once I saw that, it's like not a chance. Well, that, that was they, a giveaway then, now wasn't it? Not a, not a chance that he's winning. They they would never they would never do that. You know, I mean, normally, you know, like I said, wait a couple hours. You know, but they, you know, they decided that, uh, I mean, it's fine, you know, I mean, but it did give away the match. So uh, anyway, Liv, Dom, and Raquel arrive at the building, and they don't answer any questions, and then they get in the car and they just leave. Yeah. <laughs> that was weird. Well, it's really weird if you're if you're in the building because they were back in the building for the second show. That's true. Well, we're not supposed to know that's the second show. Ethan Page and Ava met with Adam Pierce. Ethan is upset that CM Punk cost him the title. He wants something done about it. Pierce said, I didn't make that match. Ava did. And Ava goes, I'm off the clock. And Ethan goes, well, why are you here? And she's there to hang out with Sexy Red. And Sexy goes, oh, Ethan, I know you. You lost to Trick Williams. And he's all upset. Natty and Caden and Katana and Lyra and Zelina against Pure Fusion Collective and Unholy Union. I got these names. Six men, six, six, per, uh, ten person tag. Ten person tag. Yes. That went all of about three minutes on television. And then Lyra pinned Sonia. Yep, with a leg slice. Yep, <laughs> all right. Yep. What is that set up? Nothing. Okay. Just, they had Just to get, match. They had to, get a women, they had to get a women's match on television. They had to get some people's faces on television. So that's what they did. So, yes, they showed the Crown Jewel poster and said, if Sammy wins, the poster will look like this tomorrow. Yeah. Like, all right. So they do Gunther and Sammy. I mean, if they had just done it for TV, it's one thing, but they had it all up all afternoon. We had Gunther and Sammy for the World Heavyweight title, and, hey, it's Gunther and Sammy turned into a really good match. Really good match. They had some spots there at the end where the crowd was biting. I mean, we had Gunther hitting a clothesline, a horrible-looking clothesline. Sammy bumped right in his shoulder. Sammy kicks out of that. Gunther goes for a small, uh, for a power bomb, and Sammy hits a small package that got a big pop. Gunther hits a power bomb. Sammy kicks out. He hits another power bomb. Sammy kicked out at one, and this place went nuts. So yeah. whenever people say, "Oh, this kick out at one, this is stupid." This doesn't work. Well, hey, this worked to this WWE crowd. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. When they say it doesn't work. I would say 90% of the time I see it. It works 100% work. of the time. No, no, I, I have seen a few times where it doesn't. I, but, yeah, probably closer to 95%, really. 
I've seen a few times where it doesn't because it's overdone, but very rarely does it not work. The and and why anyone would complain about something that works, you know? So you know what I mean? It's like why would you do it other than other than you're like brainwashed by wrestling has to be exactly like this, you know? Because you know whatever. Even though something else, it's like it's like when something more what works works. That's the deal with wrestling. And and I have seen. I just remember going to shows and I would see these veteran guys who were trained by the old timers and and you know like they'd be doing all the all the modern stuff would be going on and they're going like this is wrong and this is wrong and this is wrong and they go like all those things you're saying is wrong they all got big pops you know but but it's wrong it's wrong i was trained by blah 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 you know wrestle from 1970s and it's like and in the 70s and you know what if somebody figured this out and did it in the 70s might have worked then too for all we know you know it's well, like, i'll tell you it's, what i know this one count got the biggest pop of any near fall all night long. It got the biggest pop of anything pretty much all night long. Yes. Yeah, they I mean, went nuts. More than more than, you know, maybe maybe CM Punk's ring entrance got a bigger pop, I don't know, but but yeah, it got a big big pop. Still, I would say at the 16 minute match, Gunther probably had 12 to 13 minutes of it and one clean and choked him out. It's like they, you know, it's like they certainly did not um you know, I mean, it was a total dominant performance by Gunther. Great match, though. Yeah, Gunther puts him in the choke, and Sammy fights and fights, and he's almost at the ropes, and he's reaching out, and his finger's like an, a centimeter away, and he gets yanked back to the middle, and the referee stops it. Gunther retains I, the I, I I really, I really like the way they did it. It finish, was though. great. Yeah, great. I liked, I liked that finish. I would have still given Sammy a little bit more offense. I mean, it's really clear with Sammy. Like, it's like the guy's great, and it's like, you know, he's making a lot of money and all this. Um, but they see him at a certain level, and that's just how it is. And it doesn't matter how over he gets and what kind of reactions he gets. It's just what it is. You know, it's like they've they've just decided that, you know, some guys are marquee guys and some guys aren't marquee guys. And I don't know, man. Sammy has been repeatedly, repeatedly, repeatedly bringing up that he will win the world heavyweight title before he retires. And I don't know if it's going to be soon. Maybe they'll do but, it. But, I mean, just the fact that he brings it up in virtually every single one of these promos. Yeah, but guess There's got to be a reason for it. Yeah. Chad Gable used to do the same thing with the Intercontinental for months and months and months. Well, he did. He'll probably win that at some point. No, he won't. The Intercontinental? Chad. Well, I mean, he might, but I doubt he it. Might. He ain't winning from Braun Breaker, I'll tell you that much. Yeah. So then we had like 10 but seconds besides, left. That, but that story's long gone, though. It's whether he does or he doesn't, that aspect well, of the that, story. Well, he's not winning that part of the story, yes. Yeah. So Cody then comes out, stares down Gunther. They got like one second, they go off the air. So the show was very rushed. Yeah. But I'm not going to complain about a two-hour show because I like two-hour shows. Hey, if you love this clip, have I got a deal for you. WrestlingObserver.com. Do you have a commute? Do you work out at the gym? Do you like listening to audio on your headphones or your earbuds or whatever the kids use today? Well, WrestlingObserver.com will give you all the audio you'll ever need in your life. Over 15,000 audio shows. Every audio show that we have ever done, dating back to 2005, is available for subscribers at WrestlingObserver.com. Every time a new show comes out, you can podcast it directly to your phone. If you have a commute, as noted, if you go to the gym, if you like to lift weights and listen to Granny review soap operas, well, WrestlingObserver.com gets you full access to all of these shows and all of these archives. You can go back and listen to TNA reviews from 2010. You can go back and listen to reviews of every WWE pay-per-view, every big story that's ever happened in wrestling. You can get access to that at WrestlingObserver.com. Plus, full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter every week. 40,000 words of news and information in pro wrestling. Why get all your scoops off Reddit, which aren't even accurate most of the time? Go right to the source, the Wrestling Observer Newsletter. You also get Observer Archives dating back to 1990. So check it out today. Thousands of issues of the Wrestling Observer Newsletter. Tens of thousands of hours of audio. All for $12.99 per month or as low as $9.99 if you sign up for a year. You'll never, you'll never run out of audio if you subscribe to WrestlingObserver.com. So head up there, check it out today, and I'll talk to you again after a while.